Could you imagine starting an engineering business out of your guest room in your house and rapidly growing it to 60 people and multiple offices? Well, guess what? My guest today on Pass the FE Exam, Mike Nunley, CEO and founder of MKN, did just that. And you know what? Mike's a licensed professional engineer. And so without the license, he would not have been able to do that. So in this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of getting your license and starting with the FE exam and hopefully give you the inspiration and the push of why you need to do this immediately. Before we dive in, this past the FE exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm happy to have with me Mike Nunley. Mike is the CEO, president, and founder of MKN, um, a consulting firm in California with roughly around 60 employees that Mike started and built himself. And it's been a pretty awesome journey for him. So, Mike, on our channel here, past the FE exam, we're trying to get students and engineers inspired to take that FE exam as the first part of the process to licensure. Now, you have your PE license. Talk to us about the importance of that license and how much it's helped you in your career. If I had not gotten the PE license, I don't, I'm sure I would not be where I'm at as, as CEO of my own firm. One of the advantages of a PE license is you can be in responsible charge and you can stamp your own projects to meet public agency and state requirements. If you can't do that, then you have to rely on others to do so. That really sets you up for the, you know, the ability to control your own destiny, in, in my opinion, is is largely a, a factor of whether you've got that PE license or not. Yeah, and I think the thing to think about today is, you know, a lot of people some, in college, sometimes they hear things from people like, hey, if you go into construction or if you do this, you're not going to need your license, so don't worry about it. And, and my kind of rebuttal to that is, you have no idea where your career is going to take you after college, right? I mean, I'm sure when Mike graduated, he wouldn't think that at this point in time, he was running his own company that had 60 people growing offices, hiring people, expanding. And so my message to you on that is you think you might want to do something now, but you're young and your career could take a major turn in a couple of years. And quite frankly, you could go through a large portion of your career and decide at one point that you're going to kind of retire and do some of your own consulting. And if you don't have a PE license, you can't do that. Another thing that I'll say to a little bit kind of in line with Mike's point earlier is in some states, you cannot own a company that offers engineering services unless you're a licensed professional. And so, you know, Mike, obviously the process can be a little rigorous. You have to take these two eight or so hour exams and got to get your experience in between them. And I'm sure that there are students watching this or it could be even older engineers that are watching this just never took the time to go. And now they're thinking about contemplating the FE exam. You know, what for you when you went through the process, was there something that pushed you? Like, how did you get through a process that's as rigorous as these exams? One thing that I really encourage folks to do is take the exams as soon as you possibly can. And it was a real advantage for me to take it as early as possible after I had graduated and gotten my, at the time, the EIT. And the advantage of that is everything is relatively fresh in your mind. The studying process, I, I found that studying with other people who are also preparing for the exam was really valuable. So there was a good friend of mine that I worked with at the time who was also preparing for the exam and we'd get together, we'd share notes, we'd share books, we'd share resources. Um, and, and that made a big difference in both of us passing the exam for the PE the first time. 
Yeah, for sure. And I would imagine too, Mike, you know, you're someone who's growing a firm, you're constantly hiring engineers probably almost daily or weekly. And I would imagine that when you go through the interview process with them, if someone has their FE or their EIT, it probably says something to you about that person. Yeah, it automatically tells you this person is is a self-starter. They're going to be a go-getter. Uh, they took the time to do something outside of their required coursework related to their field to advance their career. And so you're exactly right, Anthony. That's a sign of someone who could be a stellar a stellar. Uh, a leader with future leader within your company. Yeah. And I think for me, you know, if you're in the industry and you're able to get an engineering license, right, you've done the degree, which is to me the hard part, right? You've gone through those years of college, staying up all night, doing exams and labs and everything else. If you've gone through that, you kind of owe it to yourself in a sense to go after the license, because even if you don't sign one plan or specification your entire career, to Mike's point, it says something about you that you rolled up your sleeves, you took this exam and you're licensed. I mean, you're a licensed professional. That means like you're in a, a minority in your field because you've taken the steps to get that license and nobody can take that away from you. So I wanted to have Mike come on just because he's growing a firm. He's seeing a lot of young engineers. He, he works with them regularly and you can hear, you know, how much it's helped him in his career and, and what it says about someone to him when he's hiring and recruiting people and you have that opportunity. So. Listen, you may be watching this because you failed the FE exam and you got to gear up and take it again. Well, I hope that based on what Mike and I have shared here in this video, it pushes you over the line to say, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to pass it. Mike gave you a couple tips there, you know, study with others, right? You could take a review course. Our sponsors on the, on the channel, PPI Kaplan, they've got some awesome review courses that you could take, which provide a lot of structure for you and help you to get through it. And really at the end of the day, it's your career right? Like Mike said, it's up to you to advance it or not. And getting this license can 100% help you do that. So please, we've got tons of videos on our channel here that you can go through with different tips, tricks, problems that we've solved, but, but you've got to do it. You've got to buckle up, you've got to bear down, and you've got to do the studying and do the prep. So Mike, I know you're very busy with your business, but we do appreciate some time from you here to kind of help inspire some of these up and coming engineers to take the exam. And we really do appreciate it. Thank you, Anthony. I'm glad to do whatever I can to encourage folks to, to get their FE exam and, and get their PE. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Mike. We just want to stress the importance of getting your PE license, regardless of where you think you're going to go in your career. So please go through our videos here, subscribe to our channel here, because we are going to put out more videos like this to help you pass the FE exam. Maybe there's a specific question that you have or topic that you'd like us to cover, please drop it in the comments below and we will focus on it. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.